Somebody else had a hand here? Well, hold on. I saw his first. We'll go here, here, and here. Remember the order, okay? All right. Um, now, Tuck, um, my name's Larry Williams. I'm the Neighborhood Watch Coordinator for Aberdeen Garden Historic Civic Association. One of the things that we're looking at out in the area is the poor lighting in some of the areas, which uh, is conducive to unsavory people hanging out in the area. What we'd like to know is how we can go about getting the lighting improved in the area. Excuse me. <laughs> and I appreciate the question. We, I think it was a year or so ago, we did kind of a lighting study around the city. And I, and I think I've explained it in other settings. One of the things we used to do as far as lighting, lighting was actually for vehicle, vehicular movement across the city. We did it so that like, you didn't necessarily drive down dark streets and you can kind of see where you're going and see what you might hit as you're driving down the streets. Now we recognize that lighting also has to be for safety. And so we're trying to upgrade our lighting in different areas. I think we had invested some $100,000 uh, in the past couple of years for lighting. And so we're, we're moving about different neighborhoods, but um, we can probably look at your area and see where it is. But we know, again, we need to enhance lighting in, in many of our communities. And again, it one of the things where you know, if the light is too bright, people complaining that it's shining into their, their bedrooms or whatever, but I think we have to be more strategic about that. And so we are looking at enhancing our lighting. Okay, we said here, here, no, here, here, and here. I was just wondering, what are the plans for the Willow Oak Shopping Center? Good question. Um, Willow Oak Shopping Center is, is not our proudest moment, but I will tell you the reason um, it was, April of last year, our former economic development director, Leonard Sledge and I both drove up to Rockville, Maryland, and we met with the owner and I think his niece, and he is probably in his 70s, um, is a fairly successful business person um, who was somewhat aloof in that um, he, he recognized that he owned that shopping center outright. He also owns a shopping center uh, on Jefferson Avenue in Newport News, the one that's across from where Captain D's is. And um, it wasn't something that was really pressing on him that it had to return a lot of money. Now, we tried to impress on him the concern that the residents had, as well as the city, that it was a shopping center decline, that he was losing tenants. And he said that he was in the process of hiring a new property manager. And in fact, I think when we got back, we did uh, have some conversation with the property manager who told us that he has tried his best to get that owner to make improvements, but he's unwilling to. Um, so what we're doing from a city perspective, the best we can do because it's probably owed, is we're trying to enforce code violations that we see. So uh, I'm not sure if, 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 if large holes in parking lots is something we can enforce, but we, we at least try to bring it to his attention. It is? Okay. So, yeah, okay. But, but we're trying to be aware that whenever there's a code violation that we uh, bring it to his attention and that we cite him for it to try and again make him think that hey you can't just let it go into the continue to decline but there's not much we can do it's, it's a privately owned property and um there was a resident though there was a resident within the last two months who copied us with a letter that he sent to the owner of the shopping center and so i would suggest maybe if you can find similarly, similar people who feel as you do, that again, it's a shopping center in the client, that maybe you write him and say, sir, we really would appreciate if you would do something about this shopping center. Uh, okay, city, city manager, she's she, anxious to share, so hold on. Just a moment. If you don't mind. You can't hold the mic though. Oh, okay. All right, here we go, we'll break the rules. Only because we get asked a lot, I thought you might want to clarify that the city doesn't have any plans yes. to do anything other than have it be a shopping center. I was going to say that too. Yeah, I just want you to forget that because a lot of people, there's a rumor going around we're trying to do Section 8 housing. Yes. That's absolutely not true. And just wanted to get that on the record. Do you want me to tell them? No. Yeah, okay. yeah you can tell them. <laughs> it's not going to be Section 8. Okay, hold it. I, I see a new hand, but there's there's an order. There's, there's an order. Okay, all right, see? I got to go with him, then her, then you. Okay, is it okay? All right, we got it. Okay, sir. Sure. All right, basically the same question as she did. Okay. No, no, no follow up yet. No, no, no. Oh, I still got a follow up today. <laughs> Forfeit his turn. Are we going to vote? Did he forfeit his turn? No, no, no. <laughs> killed my mic. I think I was kidding too much here. Okay, hold on. I think back to, again, the rumor, Bill. I have met the owner of that shopping center 
myself. Um, is Harris Teeter going in, or is Harris Teeter going to put one at Riverdale and call that one done now? See, that's how rumors get started. Actually, Kroger is coming to Riverdale. Right. Same and, <laughs> and Kroger's is coming to Riverdale. You're right, sir. And Harris Teeters has, has confirmed to us that they're planning to put Harris Teeter in the um, Willow Sheds. Okay, okay. All right, good. All right, we're going to stop that rumor.